Hi, welcome to this first video about modern music composition. With these videos I want to introduce you to the world of modern composition, giving you useful tips, both from the creative and technical side to make the best of your music. I'll tell you right away that my compositional approach, even if it derives from what is also studied in conservatories, is in various parts, quite different because over time and with direct experience, I realized that the classical methodology, even if it is technically always valid, no longer fits very well in a practical way. The needs of the modern music composer, who needs updated compositional methods, both to new technologies, and to the type of music different from the past. For this reason I have devised my own method that I could define hybrid, to bring together the great technicalities of the past, with the need for greater simplification of today, trying to get the means, however and techniques to make you able to compose at best. But, what is modern music composition? Before we talk about it I want to take a step back, starting with the past to understand some important things. Nowadays many music creatives, that is, those who create music, have become accustomed and are becoming more and more accustomed to creating music through technology, with computers, and all the means that this fantastic world allows. As it happens almost always, when there are great innovations, especially technological, many dynamics of life change, and often change for the better, but in some cases you lose things that seem less useful but in fact missing, make you lose skills. This has been happening in a very noticeable way for at least a decade in various industries, and even in music. But, what is happening in the world of composition today? Many people don't realize this because as they enter this world now, they see what is normally offered to them, thinking that music is this world, and they probably don't ask themselves any questions, Others know this but probably adapt in part because of trend, and perhaps economic needs. If we start from the past, we must remember that the great composers of the past, not having any technological means, to compose had to know how to do everything with their mind, and with their hands, from the first musical thought to the complete writing of an entire work, and logically almost always, they were also able to play it, at least in the version for their musical instrument, such as the piano. This certainly involved a great expenditure of energy, and great study, but allowed to have excellent minds and practically brilliant. With the passing of time, arriving until today, with the help of great technological means all this has changed a lot. While in the past to create even a short musical introduction one needed to have at least sufficient knowledge of music theory, harmony, and various compositional techniques, as well as knowing how to play a musical instrument. Today the modern music creator if he wants can succeed in creating the musical introduction by simply taking from a library of musical patterns or loops what he likes, assembling various pieces that musically combine correctly as to tempo and key, and in no time, the desired introduction can be ready. But, think about it, what does this method make happen? If you have used one or more musical patterns or loops from a library, it could be that thousands of other creators of music have done so, certainly in a slightly different way, but the starting point, defined and unchanging, will always be very similar, and this you will understand well will make a lot of music very similar, and consequently uninteresting because no longer unique, and not very creative in terms of sound and music. This does not mean that today everyone uses only loops to compose music, someone still creates loops from scratch, and also there are still those who compose with methods more standard or of the past. But, from this arise two evidences. The first evidence is that using the method of ready-made musical patterns makes it very easy to make music in a short time even by pressing keys as with the various touchpads, but very limiting, risking to create music always very similar, and never learning to compose music from scratch, therefore preventing you from expressing yourself 100%. The second evidence is that to compose music totally from scratch as was done long ago, in addition to having to study a lot, it would take much more time, and unfortunately nowadays the time is never as much as you would like. 
So my idea was to try to take the best of both worlds in a hybrid mode in order to speed up and in part make it easier to compose, but without losing almost any of the infinite creativity that the ancient method allowed. And this is where what I call modern musical composition was born. So now we can go back to the question that I also said in the title of the video. What is modern musical composition? After my story you will have already understood why I called it modern, and now I'll tell you what is really meant by musical composition. While it might be trivial, and you should understand that a music composer is someone who creates music, on the other hand maybe it is better to clarify something. Nowadays, thanks to the internet, which makes it easy to meet people from all over the world, it is very easy to meet people with very different cultures and ways of life, and for this reason every person and people can live and know something similar, or the same even in a very different way. As far as musical composition is concerned, we have to remember that for historical reasons only, it was born in Europe and from there over the centuries it moved all over the world. Therefore to understand the composition we should know a little bit of its history. To give a simple and even a little reductive definition, we can say that musical composition is the art that allows to be able to create any kind of music, whether it is a simple song for children, or an entire work for symphony orchestra. Logically to know how to create any kind of music, inspiration is not enough, or know the progression of various chords and so on. It takes a thorough study that is carried out over time. But fortunately today all this is within everyone's reach, thanks to the existence of the internet. And as you yourself notice, even watching this video, if you have come this far it means that you have learned something that maybe you did not know enough, or maybe you did not know at all. In this video I wanted to tell you how I came up with the idea of this hybrid method of modern composition, which I will let you know in time, with other videos. I hope you like this video, and it has given you the stimulus and curiosity to want to know more about the world of musical composition, an infinitely fascinating world, and that if live can give you so much satisfaction. Before I finish the video I want to warn you that the voice you hear in the video is not mine, because I'm not a native speaker and I still don't have a good enough pronunciation, and probably not even a perfect English grammar. So to start I decided to rely on a voice actor, at least to solve the problem of pronunciation, but I hope as soon as possible to get a good enough pronunciation, to be able to speak directly to you. And if you'd like to subscribe, to this channel of mine to know more and more about the world of modern music composition, and maybe even a little bit about my compositions and musical performances. See you soon.